Hey everyone, I'm here at the Ryobi booth with Steve Holland and your... I'm the Executive Vice President of Product Management for Ryobi Outdoor. And today we have a brand new mower that hasn't even been announced to the public yet. Coming out in 2023, spring of 2023. Okay, we're going to take a close look. I'm going to grab the camera and I will follow you around. Hey guys, we have our new 80 volt HP 30 inch mower. Uh, working off of our 80 volt 10 amp hour battery. You've seen this battery in our riding mowers. We've got it today launching and expanding that platform to have this in our new walk behind mower for the most power performance and giving the customer a ton of run time so they can get the job done and work long enough to get the job done as well. So this is part of our 80 volt platform. We've got a lot of really cool features to go along with that uh, run time and power. You'll be able to, again, use that one touch handle fold release to store this mower away very quickly and easily wherever it might need to be stored. Come under here, this is a 30 inch deck design, oh, a wow. true 30 inch with two sets of cross cut blades. Okay, for that 30 inch design, these cross cut blades are gonna give you the finest mulching. It'll help with your bagging performance and also give you that further side discharge throw that you get with those smaller particles that they chop up. It's also part of our Whisper series and our Whisper series design, we've intentionally taken sound out of our products to make them have the lowest decibels and pitch possible. This mower has been made part of our Whisper series, so it's not only our most powerful mower, but it's also our quietest as well. If you look here behind on the handles, we've got a fuel gauge, so this will tell the customer how much runtime they have left while they're mowing in use. And then this blade check reminds them to replace or sharpen their blade at the appropriate time during it, the life of the tool. So is that blade check something that over time, or will it sense like it's, if it it's gets... Like, it counts the number of cycles, and then we'll turn on a red light for the customer to know that it's time to either replace or, or sharpen their blade. Okay. Uh, Self-propelled, uh, which is also variable speed, so as much as you push is as much as it'll go. Okay. And so the c customer has ultimate control while they're using this mower, and they can just back off or go fast depending on what, what job they're tackling. And this is another speed control? This is a governor to, to max the speed out. So when you push down as hard as you can, Wherever this dial is at, that's the fastest speed it'll go. So a lot of variability for the customer so they can have the best experience depending on what their conditions are. Gotcha, okay. What is the charge time for a battery like that? Uh, battery like this will charge in a little over an hour. Uh, oh, and, wow. the, and the unit itself will run for just about an hour. So if you had an extra battery, you could be swapping and charging at the same time and have endless run time. Okay, so can we take a look at the battery again? Yes, 80 right. volt, 10 amp hour, same battery we use today in our riding mowers. And these retail uh, today as, as a standalone battery for $899. So to charge it, you can leave it in the mower and then there's a cord that just plugs into it? You take this battery, yeah, bring the charger that we use on our riding mower. Okay. And, and you can see with this charging cord here, this will plug right into the battery as well. Same as it does to the riding mower. Okay, and that plugs into the wall. And this plugs into the wall as well, yeah. Got a 42 okay. inch and then 30 as well. So it'll side discharge. It's a three in one. Mulch. Yeah, three in one bagging, side discharge, or you can drop a mulch plug on it for mulching as well. So it okay. gives you all three cutting options. And again, like we said, we like to give the customers the best experience, but also the best variability so they can choose what they need to do in their yard depending on how they cut, what conditions they cut. And that starts with the three in one design. It also starts with the variability in the speed and also giving the customer the feedback they need to know how much runtime do I have left while I'm using it and also when do I need to change my blade. What's the warranty on it? Uh, five year warranty on the 80 volt mode. Oh wow, okay. All right, so if you have any questions on this, please put them down below. I have resources, I can reach out to Steve here and he can answer any questions that you might have. Hopefully we cover everything that you wanna know. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right guys, catch you next time.